you have here? Well, it sure does look like Damascus. Probably because it is. It's uh, 1084 and 15 N20 Damascus. Billet, big one. Drawn out, pretty thick spine. It's meaty, strong. Uh, didn't really get any footage. Forging it, it's been a work in progress. Over the past couple months, it's finally getting realized. Boy, did it change for the better. Um, touch marks on the, uh, the guard, which is just a piece of spring steel. Scalloped out, probably gonna mustard patina it, blacken it out. Same with this piece right here, it's a piece of spring steel. Drill divots for decoration, scalloped on the pummel, also spring steel. But this part right here in the middle, it's aluminum. Aluminum blocks. So, the entire, they called a short sword or even just a big chopper knife. I consider this like a machete type. Eh, I guess you could call it a short sword. Anyway, yeah, it's all metal. From Damascus to spring steel to aluminum, spring steel, and, and more spring steel. Aluminum, Damascus, 1084, 15N20. You know, it's got all metal construction. It's the whole goddamn thing. Still working on it, smoothing it out, sanding it, profile on the handle. Um, curious to see what happens after this is hit with 2,000 grit and then buffed. Trying to get a real shiny, shiny handle, something different. Um, because it's aluminum, it's light, so the balance on this thing is actually really good. Look at that pattern. Oh yeah, the pattern um, was etched for two hours periodically. So it should be a nice dark black pattern with the chrome and then a nice shiny handle with alternated black pieces on there. And these two, these two pieces of the aluminum should be shiny. This should match the, the blade minus the Damascus and then a black centerpiece and a black pummel. That's the theory. That's the, that's the plan. The other one I was working on, this is this puppy here, is the uh, Damascus chef knife, my first chef knife. The uh, hickory handle, purple resin, it's got a copper spacer just for the looks, decorative. That's actually a bolt for the bolster and touch mark. I'm gonna oil it up with some uh, vegetable oil. This will be a chef knife. It's sharp. This thing is ridiculous sharp. Not bad for my first chef knife. It really isn't. It's uh, little knife, big knife. Thing, a scary shark. Now, a chef knife should be scary shark. You know, the sharper a chef knife, the better. But, uh, this thing, my first chef knife. And honestly, it's probably the sharpest knife I've ever, uh, <laughs> I've ever, I've ever made. This is the sharpest knife I've ever made. It's a chef knife. Damascus chef knife. Look how goddamn sharp this is. It's, it's scary. I was nervous as hell using this on the buffer. I was, if I cut my hand, whew, knock on wood, I don't get that. This thing is. This is I'm gonna try to shave that off there. 
Okay, I'm just gonna try this. Look at that, look at it. I'm not even really doing any effort on this either. Just letting it go. Look at that. I don't know, maybe this isn't a big deal <laughs> to a lot of people that make knives. I don't make too many. I like doing everything. Especially uh, chef knives. This thing is sharp. It's so sharp. It's sharp. This thing's sharp. Okay. We get it. It's sharp. It's also not a bad looker either. You can see the tang. Through there it's like a clear. I wish the lighting was better. It's purple. It's like almost like an amnest gemstone. Purple. Forge and fire. <coughs> Forge and fire. Chef knives. Product review. Let's open this thing up. Certificate of Authenticity. One Damascus knife I did make. This is my personal one. I kept the top part, the twist, all forged on the top. And this thing is crazy sharp also. Um, someone left a uh, cable for their uh, kayak around a tree when I went camping. It was just left there, and I decided to grab this and chop down on the cable, and I... It was probably like, I don't know how, it was probably like that thick. One hit against the tree and it broke the cable and didn't do nothing to this blade. So, this is a good one too. Two. Weight feels, feels good. You know these things are mass produced. Got a little logo on the end there. Forge and fire, textured chef knife, plastic handles. I'm gonna get rid of these and put wood handles on here. I'm gonna read you side by side, size wise, pretty close. Fresh out of the box. Sharp. Sharp. Alright, forge and fire, sharp. Those, 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 little, those little curlies do. Alright, so we'll see how, how this thing holds up an edge, but out of the box. Sharp. Check knife. Also. Sharp. Ooh! Ooh! Cut yourself! You cut yourself on this! I'm gonna grind all this plastic off, the pins off, and redo a, a wood handle similar to this one on here and this will be my I'm just gonna keep this in the kitchen um, like I said if I don't sell this one too I'll probably keep this in the kitchen too I want to get one of those magnet strips where you just kind of whoop, stick all the knives on oh. which one would you want the first timers the mask of chef knife or a forest fire or Walmart $30 special but I'll tell you what for 30 bucks this isn't bad. So I would not sell this for $30. Sorry. Yeah, the Forge and Fire uh, Chef set, I give it I give it two thumbs up. It's not bad for the price. 